Apple Music is copying Spotify and YouTube Music, and I am not mad about it. Greetings Aqua fam, it is Ben Aqua. If you're not subscribed already, you know what to do. Smash that like button, support me by listening to my music on Spotify or Apple Music or YouTube Music, wherever you listen to your music. Buy some merch on benaqua.shop. So let's talk about Apple Music copying Spotify and YouTube Music. The reason I'm showing you Apple Music on my iPad versus my iPhone is the iPad has some different functionality that I really enjoy, such as this new sidebar over here. So let's just dive in and talk about some of the coolest new features and maybe a little bit of a critique of these new features, starting with the sidebar here. And this only appears when you're in landscape orientation on your iPad. So basically it looks almost like music on the Mac now. It's kind of cool having the sidebar over here so you have quick access to your playlists and what's now called Listen Now, which used to be For You. There's also the Browse tab right there. And then there's also Radio. And then there's a dedicated search button over here too. So you can do searches and you can see all this new kind of like beautiful graphics and bright colors everywhere. Apple's definitely taking some cues from Spotify on this one with the colors. Like it's not just a black background with, you know, just random text and stuff on it. Now it has like bigger icons for what it thinks you want to listen to, such as this thing called Top Picks, which has like heavy rotation. It has a really awesome new feature, which is actually stolen from YouTube music, which is called Station, like your name and then Station. And basically what that is, is a algorithmic station of songs that it thinks you would like based on your previous listening experience. So. This reminds me a lot of the Your Mix in YouTube Music, where you just kind of press a button and it just plays this endless station or just like a playlist of songs that it thinks you would like algorithmically. So here's another big UI change under this Made For You tab, which we remember from the previous Apple Music versions. The Friends Mix, Favorites Mix, Get Up Mix, etc. You now see these really cool kind of trippy animations that are super colorful. It's not a static image anymore. So I like that they've updated that so for example, let's go into the get up mix. These are the algorithmic mixes that Apple Music had before, but now they just have a prettier animation. And you see the familiar categories. There's kind of like bigger images. Everything just looks bigger and more colorful in the newer version of Apple Music. And I'm so down for that because I am a huge design nerd. The listen now tab is pretty useful. You know, it seems a little bit less stale as the for you tab in the previous version of Apple Music. Let me open just like a different playlist so you can see what it looks like. So I started that playlist and this is the new now playing interface where you see the nice big artwork over here. Down here you'll see they added the shuffle and repeat buttons right next to the player so you don't have to swipe up a little bit to get to those buttons over here where they used to be but now they're over here so you can quickly access those I really like that in Spotify you don't see this nice column of songs on the right here and these are the playing next songs and of course you can scroll up and see your previous history of tracks that you just played and I love this interface and you'll also see in the background uh, maybe I'll pick a, something a little more colorful. This is a really great track. But you'll see how the background actually changes color. And if there are lyrics available in the new Now Playing section, you can press on this button down here. And that'll enable the lyrics. So you can actually sing your song along with the actual song while it's playing in time. This reminds me a lot of Apple TV and how the UI looks on Apple TV when you're playing something with lyrics. And I like that you can switch back and forth between the lyric view or the coming up next, what's called playing next, like your cue. Or if you just don't wanna see any of that and you wanna full screen your artwork and your playing controls and stuff, you can just tap on one of those buttons, it'll disappear. Now you have a nice full screen view. So this is really awesome. This is probably my favorite new feature is this now playing interface. It is much needed and it looks beautiful in my opinion. And I like that the colors keep changing as you play. So it's not just like a standard, you know, black background or white background or whatever. It's actually evolving and it changes based on whatever you're listening to. So you can see how now that there's like this beautiful pink going around. Let's see, I'll try this one right here. 
And then, so every time you change a song, the colors actually change and they'll continually change as you're playing the song. So you see this little icon up here that looks like an infinity thing. This is my second favorite feature. This is what Apple Music really, really needed for a very long time. So you can see when I scroll down to the end of this playlist, you'll see this thing right here that says autoplay, similar music will keep playing. This little icon, this infinity icon means autoplay. So it's kind of like an algorithmic thing that already existed in Spotify for a long time and also YouTube music where when you end a playlist or you just play a song, it doesn't just stop playing music after that song like in the previous versions of Apple Music. Now it'll continually play a bunch of stuff algorithmically determined based on the track you were just playing or the playlist you were just playing. And it seems really accurate Apple Music is finally catching up to Spotify when it comes to the automatic algorithmic autoplay game after you're done listening to a song or a playlist. I really love this autoplay feature and you don't have to use it. I like that you can kind of toggle it on or off right there really, really easily. So when you toggle it on, you'll see the tracks are there. And then if you turn it off, they'll disappear and the playlist will just run until it finishes and then it'll stop. And this interface is beautiful. However, check out the interface in YouTube Music, which I'm gonna open up right here. Apple basically stole that entire interface from YouTube Music and I'll demonstrate. So now I'm in YouTube Music and I'll just play this random playlist of songs here. Does this UI look familiar? This is the YouTube Music interface when you're now playing. I mean, it looks almost identical except for you have the buttons of shuffle and repeat over here in the top right. So let's switch back to Apple Music. Apple Music looks so much better. It basically stole that interface from YouTube Music and made it look a lot better in my opinion, where YouTube Music to me looks kind of stale. So when you change songs, you know, it basically looks the same. You see this dark background over here and you know, a dark background over here. It looks kind of identical. It's fine, not the end of the world, but Apple Music took that a step further and gave it this beautiful color scheme that changes with each track. So it almost makes you look forward to changing tracks, which is very strange. So you can even reorder like the queue of stuff, which is very similar again to the now playing interface in YouTube music where you can you know, arrange tracks in different ways. Apple is notorious for stealing other people's stuff and then being like, for the first time ever in Apple products, we have this. But Apple usually steals the stuff and then they make it basically like 10 times better and 10 times more beautiful, usually. And this is no exception. I love this new now playing interface. So one of the things that actually kind of bugs me about this new sidebar is there's no way to hide the sidebar when you're in landscape view. Like they need a little icon up here where you can tap that, it'll hide the sidebar and then enable a full screen view of your playlist or you know if you're browsing or something like that and you don't want the sidebar to appear the entire damn time. So this is another weird thing about this kind of full screen view and sidebar interface in the new Apple Music is let's say I'm in this playlist and I want to go back. So of course you can press this back button to go back, but you used to be able to just swipe from the side and you can go back or forward. And I loved that gesture. That gesture does not exist anymore. There's no back or forward gesture when you have the sidebar enabled. So there's no way to hide the sidebar and there's no way to include gestures when you're you know just browsing stuff you want to go back each time you want to go back you have to press this button not the end of the world but it does get a little annoying but if you're a person that uses playlists a lot and you're constantly jumping between you know different playlists i think you're really going to love this sidebar over here because it really just makes the playlist more accessible and quick so you know just go to this playlist and press shuffle that's so easy or if you want to go to your songs and shuffle everything, just press shuffle over there. Oh, here's another cool thing too. Like, let's say I wanted to add a song to a playlist from a listing of songs. So let's say I wanted to add this song to a playlist. I can actually drag it over, let go, and now it's in that playlist. How cool is that? So finally they have drag and drop for playlists. It feels good that Apple is finally seemingly paying attention and taking Apple Music more seriously because it just felt so stagnant for years. So I'm gonna search for something and instead of just kind of like this boring list of things that are really not super relevant, this looks like a very Spotify list of searches, you know, in terms of songs and there's albums that are mixed in. It looks like everything is sorted by popularity, which is similar to Spotify. And I like that there's all these filters now. So you can filter by artist and then you can tap on the artist. And by the way, y'all should check out this music. Oh my God, Ben Aqua creates 
the sickest music. <laughs> It'll make you so sick, you're gonna start your own hospital. So you can filter your search results based on songs, albums, playlists, radio shows, top results, of course, radio episodes, stations, music videos, video extras, categories, curators, profiles. I mean, there's so many ways to filter songs. And I actually really like this interface. Apple Music is finally catching up and giving us inline results that are filterable when you search for stuff. So those are the top new features in Apple Music that I really love. Yes, Apple Music is copying Spotify and YouTube Music per usual. However, I am not mad, like I said, about all of these new updates. These are some really awesome updates that it's like finally there's endless playing and finally there's a better interface. I love that in landscape mode, you can see everything going on. You got your player over here. You have your playing next over here, your history over there, easily accessible. And I also love that you can hide all that stuff if you don't want to see it at all. So anyway, that's enough of talking about Apple Music's new features. Let me know in the comments what you think or what your favorite feature of the new Apple Music interface face is. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.